on in Monday or oh, what Monday hour? 16th. 16th of July, it's just coming up to 10 o'clock. This is Hotel at Fraser's Plage St. Raphael. There it is above this weird shopping centre. Um just off on bike. Oh you can't go over that thing there, can you? We thought we were going to do every day for a few days, but we managed to burn like idiots. Followed by getting caught up yesterday tea time in them football um, carnage when France won World Cup. It was just absolutely crazy. And then today we woke up and it's warm. Um, it's about 20 odd degrees, but it's cloudy and it reckons it's going to have some thunderstorms this afternoon. Up and we don't get caught in them. It's going to be way out getting wet. Monday 16 and we've got no really to do because we burnt like idiots on the beach yesterday and it's forecast for thunder showers today so oh, seven days out of seven it's another one that's open all the time yeah ah yeah so we're just um in there, isn't it? I couldn't decide whether it were around corner or not, you know. Yeah, so I think we're gonna get wet. We're not actually sure where to go or what to do. Like you do. Oh yeah. I think motors might be to one side, might you? There. So you wanna... Yeah, I'll back it in there, yeah, there's plenty of time. So at least bike will be dry under here. One thing I was taught at UPS, always get yourself a way out. Yeah. Look there. Yeah. So we've got ourselves a way out. Now I'm going to put it on the centre stand. Do it yourself, Ernie. Right, we just come out of Decathlon and we're going to head for some juice first. But it's absolutely mayhem on roads. I mean, just missed us um, queuing like and queue jumping like friggin' idiots there. It's um, it's crazy, I don't know if it's a bank holiday. If they've made it a bank holiday because we they won World Cup, I don't know. But it's absolutely horrendous. It's all going other way, look, a lot of it's going other way. So we're just heading down towards main, like run along front. We know there's a big casino where we fill up here. 
see in front of us there, 24-24. So we'll, um, we're going to fill up. I mean, it's still 27 degrees, but it looks like it's going to rain. I don't know what it's going to do. Take your car now. Let's give her some go-go juice. She deserves it. She's been a good one. She's gonna heal some. Go on, girl, get it in you. You know you want it. Oh, I've just pulled up a petrol. <laughs> and Liz has brought one of the couple old doors on bike. She snapped her inch. But it was one of them where we knew it were going to go at some point last year. So I think she's uh, really pissed with herself. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Don't matter, I can fix it when I get home. Just don't want to lose the door, because the chances of finding another door like that is a million to bloody one. So we're just going to head now along towards... We're heading towards St Maxime and that lot. So I think it's first thing is like sent a goal full C. It's, it looks terribly grey and murky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. But it is actually like 27 and a half degrees. So it is plenty warm enough. You okay, Lava? Yeah. Nah, I don't worry about it. At least we didn't lose door. If we lost door, then it would be annoying because trying to get hold of a door like that's going to be a million to one, isn't it? You know, colour of it and that lot. I'll be able to fix that. I said she was upset about it. She'd be like me, getting a stinky mood over something now and then about two hours later. You think, ah, oh, yeah, well, could have been a lot worse. That could have fallen off on motorway. Then we've lost the door. It even smells wet. Not done, I'm on about weather.
think we're at Les in Isimbras. Isimbras. I just got stuck in a bit of traffic. Weird, eh? Bars and cocktails. Casino shopping. Ah, I was going to say there's a market on a summit, isn't it? It looks of it. There's old uh, pigulators there. Biggie police. Backing up, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's a bit of views at cost than this. So why am I taping it? Because I can't be asked taking it. Oh. I said it was 27 degrees. Go on, mate, you might as well go. Isambras, and now we're sort of intercept Maxime, we're on the outskirts of it. Don't help because um, I'm wearing sunglasses and I'm looking through a brown screen, so everything looks dull, so it's like, oh, it's really dull out there. But it's like 27 degrees and it's just cloudy, that's all. I am scorched. I'm sweating, but then again, I'm going out. So. Oh, that's where we pulled up before. It says if he is on the wrong side of the road. Right back in the 
there. Yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet they're in. Well, there was quite a bit of bike parking because we parked on front before, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, no, we're on here. Yeah. Yeah. St. Maxime, aren't we? And Liz has got a full gas. Yeah. And she's got tomato and mozzarella. And, and, and I've got, oh yeah, I've got a cheese and ham sandwich, but I've given Liz ham because I don't want ham out of it. And that's the view. But it's actually a lot warmer than it looks, isn't it? Mmm. We've had us dinner, haven't we? And we're heading to the tart shop over there. We're not on about red light area in Amsterdam, are we? No. Right, we've just got us uh, tart trapezium now. Uh, Liz picked one and I thought it was five euros. Because I couldn't see it. And hers is that big thing there, the proper tart trapezium. And that, that other was issue ten was. euros. And other issue is no serviettes. Serviettes, isn't it? And there's bag, he's back at car. Five. Five. I got a milk flight, four. Well, you're going to be in a mess eating that. We're both going to be in a mess yeah, eating that. Yeah, I'd like to go and get some things. Well, the miles down, aren't they? No, they're not really steady. This has got bitten the same as I've got bitten. Right, so we still haven't but tucked into his cakes yet because come back to the bike to get some serviettes and what have you. And now we've realised that Liz really needs a knife and fork to eat hers. This is hard with one hand. Oh, hang on. Luckily, in this cubby all here, we've got knives and forks. So I'll take a knife and fork for old lizard dripping. Right, so I've got the knife and fork. Cut down, especially for job, and file. Because that's how it work. And, um, here's Liz. Waiting for the cake. Here we go. Special knife and fork. What? I must have been bit as well because I've got a funny mark there. I've been bit all over me. And I've got two. It's video in anyway. Oh. So I'm going to say that the Milfoid's as good as a, as a creme brulee from Buffalo Grill. Now that's high praise in the, in the world of cakes in my eyes. And they're only uh, £3.50 at Milfoid's. That was 10 quid that. You're a fiver into it. First, it were half too big, really. I don't know if you'd asked if they'd have cut it in half. I don't know. Whatever.
is St Maxime, isn't it? And it's, uh, well, we're actually in dry here. We've just got us waterproofs out of the bike, but it's, um, that is weird how that's just come over. What time are we on? Half past three. First bike. Good old Bess. Right, we're in Office of Tourism now, watching the rain. That way. So, luckily we've got us waterproofs. It's absolutely throwing it down out there. I've never seen it like it in a long time. It's just great. It's great as far as you can see. So we're still at St Maxime, aren't we? Weather and storm. It eased off and then it eased on again. <laughs> But it's not as bad as it was right at first, but it's um, not brilliant. Oh, the thunk it. South of France. And I'm having a hot soup and this is having a hot chocolate. This weather's just terrible. We got back to the hotel, bike's done well there. Uh, it's flipping scary. On them zebra... <laughs> on them zebra... No, on them zebra crossings, isn't it? They're flipping lethal. There's a stunning view at Rail Yard. <laughs> and we're watching. We're going for gold. French version. 